Enterovirus D68 is not a new virus. There have been reports of small outbreaks of this virus causing respiratory illnesses in other communities for several decades. What is different about this outbreak is it seems to be larger than previous outbreaks. There are reports out of um, Denver and Kansas City of several hundred children uh, presenting for, for care and a good proportion of them needing uh, respiratory support until they're able to fight off the virus. It's hard to know at this point why this virus, which has been around for so long, is causing such a, uh, a big outbreak and causing such severe disease. Um, but certainly, like all, especially respiratory viruses, we're certain to see it in other uh, parts of the country and, um, and throughout the globe. The signs are, from what I've read from the outbreak in the Midwest, are signs of upper respiratory tract infection. Um, but what's unusual about this one is actually a minority of patients have fever. About 25-26% of kids have fever, um, as opposed to something like the flu virus where most children will have fever. And the, those who are the most severely effective are children with underlying asthma. And this virus tends to be particularly good at setting up um, setting up an asthma exacerbation in these children. The prognosis looks like it's very good for most of these children. Um, the, the average length of hospitalization was just one to two days, so very short hospitalizations, and most of the children just needed supportive care, so some supplemental oxygen and some breathing treatments, the typical treatments we would give to someone who was having an asthma exacerbation.